Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, I'm so excited for this video. We're going to react to the Holy Prophet Muhammad's letter to the monks of St. Catherine in Mount Sinai. So the reason why I'm so excited is since I started reading hadiths, one thing that I truly loved was the letter to Heraclius, that Prophet Muhammad sent letters to Heraclius, to certain leaders of that time, even to the Vatican. And when I read this, I truly wondered if we can find those letters, not only the hadiths, but actual letters in the Vatican or in certain churches, etc. And apparently now they did find a letter of Prophet Muhammad in an Orthodox Christian Church. This is absolutely mind-blowing. I can't wait to watch this video. With no further ado, let's have a look. The Patriarch then sent us to the depths of the Sinai Desert, to a Greek Orthodox monastery where early Christians also sought protection. Mount Sinai is one of those holy places of Christian orthodoxy, one being Mount Athos and the other one is Mount Sinai. In those places, the monks live in total seclusion, just worshiping God. It's called St. Catherine's, and it's located at the foot of Mount Sinai, where, according to tradition, Moses received the Ten Commandments. It's the oldest functioning monastery anywhere. There are 25 monks here today, servicing the smallest diocese in the world. The monks are all Greek, with one exception. Altogether, we have 3,300 manuscripts. The chief librarian, overseeing an incomparable collection of ancient manuscripts, is Father Justin. But most of these date from the 10th to the 14th century. A converted Baptist from El Paso, Texas. He showed us the monastery's collection of Byzantine icons, the largest and oldest collection in the world. Then he took us to what the Patriarch really wanted us to see, a little-known letter written by the Prophet Muhammad almost 1,400 years ago, signed and... But wait a second, written by the Prophet Muhammad? I thought he was illiterate, no? ...sealed with his handprint, offering protection and religious freedom to the Christians of the monastery. These are precedents from Muhammad himself for toleration and peace among people of differing faiths. Wow, man. Absolutely the patriarch amazing then see. brought us back to the 21st century and Turkey to his own backyard. He took us for a ride on an island off of Istanbul in a carriage with a police escort. The patriarch wanted to show us that Muhammad's message of tolerance has not been received by the Turkish authorities. His prime example, the Halki School of Theology, the only Greek Orthodox seminary in Turkey, empty and abandoned. No priests, no prayers. For over five centuries in lands of the Ottoman Empire, millions of Christians of different ethnicity and all Christian denominations were allowed to practice freely, including this Greek Orthodox seminary. That is absolutely correct. Coming from the Balkans myself, I have to confirm this, of course, because think about it logically. If the Ottomans truly prohibited Christianity altogether, how come then that I was born in an Orthodox Christian family? It wouldn't make any sense whatsoever, of course. So even during the Ottoman times. Yes, you could say there are certain things that were un-Islamic, but nevertheless, Christianity was still thriving within the Balkans. Unfortunately, the secular Republic of Turkey has not only shut down the seminary, but also thousands of Muslim schools and centuries-old Sufi Muslim lodges under its 90 years of unjust rule. There you go. And growing up in Germany, I of course thought, yeah, well, Turkey is an Islamic country. It's not. All laws of Islam are actually banned in the secular republic of Turkey. I didn't know that all of them are banned. The most oppressed religious group in Turkey are practicing Muslims. Okay, now it goes even further. I don't know. Any form of religious chanting, zikr, is illegal. All religious clothing, such as the turban and cloak, are illegal. Is that so? Really? 
Please, Turks, let me know. Only special government employees are allowed to teach Islam. Thousands of Muslim scholars have been executed and tortured by the secularist regime of Turkey. In no way does the Republic of Turkey adhere to the teachings of the Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, granted a charter of privileges to the monks of St. Catherine Monastery in Mount Sinai. Which yet again is Quranic as well. It would make only sense to do so, of course. Ah, now finally we're going to see the English translation of the letter. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. This is a message from Muhammad ibn Abdullah. As a covenant to those who adopt Christianity near and far, we are with them. I hold out against anything that displeases them. No compulsion is to be on them. Neither are their judges to be removed from their jobs, nor their monks from their monasteries. No one is to destroy a house of their religion, to damage it, or to carry anything from it to the Muslim houses. Should anyone take any of these, he would spoil God's covenant and disobey his prophet. Verily, they are my allies and have my secure character against all that they hate. No one is to force them to travel or to obligate them to fight. The Muslims are to fight for them. If a female Christian is married to a Muslim, it is not to take place without her approval. She is not to be prevented from visiting her church to pray. This is really heartwarming, I have to say, man. It actually moves me. The churches are to be respected. They are neither to be prevented from repairing them, nor the sacredness of their covenants. No one of the nation, Muslims, is to disobey the covenant till the last day. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. How amazing was it to see the original letter of Prophet Muhammad, may peace be upon him. Yet again, my question is, of course, did he write the letter now or is it from him? Did somebody write it for him? And maybe he put his hand on it and drew his hand because he was illiterate. This could be, of course. But moreover, what is so beautiful about this letter is that it shows the true character of Prophet Muhammad and moreover, it shows the true nature of Islam. It is so coherent, so beautiful. And as I said, it is Quranic, of course, because we can find within the Quran that the monks especially are protected. And moreover, yet again, the Christians are not called to convert to Islam, but they are only reminded that they should not go to excess within their religion. However, this information for the Christians, they may adapt it or they may not. This is between them and God. The Muslims, on the other hand, are commanded to fight for the Christians, to even defend the Christians from outside attackers. How beautiful this message is. And moreover, the true Christians, the Orthodox Christians, the monks, they know about the Prophet Muhammad and they know about the true friendship between Muslims and Christians. Nowadays, if you look on YouTube and you see so-called Christians, they are fighting against Islam, not knowing what the true message of Islam is, not knowing what the true message of Prophet Muhammad was and how we are supposed to be allies and not enemies. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. Absolutely amazing watch. I truly appreciate this video. Thank you very much for your recommendation. If you liked it, leave the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. If you want to support this channel via Patreon, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you so much for your ongoing support, guys. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.